Hi, I'm Charles Reed and I'm a painter in oil and watercolor and have been painting for many years. And one of the things I do these days is doing a great deal of teaching. And one of the most popular parts of the class are the critiques. So we're going to do a series of critiques in this film and um, I hope you'll find them helpful and useful. So let's get started. I'm looking at a painting by Colin here, and I'm using, he sent some reference photographs. The first thing uh, in looking at this painting is uh, the difference, and I'm going to use the tip of my brush to point out. There's a, several things. The color, the warmth in the, the, I guess it's a fence, is obviously very, very warm. And surrounding that, in quite a lot of detail, surrounding that we have large areas of a very cool green. Uh, heck. Now you see that everything is still very wet in here, which is it's, can't, it's kind of nice. It, uh, if, if this was uh, a finish, you'd probably be a little bit, this would be hard to manage. But with a sketch, you see, you cannot, what difference does it make? It, it's a good time to have an adventure. Okay, well, that's that for this one. Um, let's review a little bit what I've done here. And again, Colin's painting is, is a very good painting. And the points I think that I, want, I saw as I looked at it was that it was too involved with a center of interest. Now, everyone thinks the center of interest is very important, and it is important. But obviously, even with my, my rather sketchy look here, uh, there, the ducks are obviously the center of interest. You don't need to make such a big deal of it. So I think that was my major thought. And I felt that he was thinking, because of his center of interest, he wanted to generalize so much of the surroundings. And then I think the other problem was the fence section. It, it, it's almost as if it was two different paintings. So I think those are the major points. Uh, again, uh, it's, it's really well painted, and I thought he did the detail in the wall extremely well. The ducks are very well drawn. And notice that they're very nice, nice and simple. He hasn't overdone. He hasn't tried to, to put too much texture in the feathers. And I like his scratch out. And he handles, uh, even though I criticize this for being too general, the areas around the, uh, in the greens, they're very well painted. So I think that's that. Thank you, Colin. Let's start the drawing. And we're going to do this in two stages. I'll do a first wash. I think the problem for me as I look at it is that the lights are rather washed out and uh, don't have any any color in a sense. There's decent color in the shadows. These, these are shadows, the dark areas actually, they're not shadows, but the darker shapes. But when you get into the, his lights, they're all, they have no intensity. Okay. Underneath here, we're going to have a cooler and that's going to can that's going to soften down toward the mouth leaving a little bit now I shouldn't have left that hard you must remember to soften your edges as you go that's about it I think the the main the really the main thing is I have I haven't gone as dark on the side planes as, as in the photograph but I have tried to instead make it the color changes so you see that goes from red in the cheeks the midsection into the cooler side planes here. And the other things I want you to do, I could hit the eyebrows a little bit, they're very pronounced. And I think you can see that it develops form using the warmer colors within it. So I can, with the color, I can use fewer value changes. And it gives a little bit more of a, I think a, a little bit of a, uh, a little excitement. Okay. Okay, that's it. And um, actually, this was a very, uh, very good job. I think especially uh, he's done such a good job with his drawing and uh, his likeness.